I uh, I got your profile for evaluation. So can we start? Uh yes, we can we can start. Okay. Uh, can you tell me your technical skill set? Technical skill set. I'm using uh, Java eight. I'm using Spring Boot. I'm using a uh, Spring Hibernate and uh, PostgreSQL as a database. Okay. As this is uh, going to be a coding round, so can you uh, open your editor? Yes. Do you uh, have editor like Eclipse or STS? Yeah. Okay. So I'll share my Eclipse. I have Eclipse okay. editor. Uh, is it okay if I share? Yeah, Eclipse? that is fine. Yeah, fine. Okay. Uh, I am sharing my Eclipse editor. Is it is it visible to you? Uh, yes, I can see it. So, which version of JDK you are using? I am using Java eight. Okay. What are the features of Java eight which uh, you have used in your project? Uh, in my project, I have used uh, functional interface. I have used uh, streams. I have used uh, lambdas. I have used uh, streams extensively in my project. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, let us consider I have a list of employees, okay, okay. where each employee has uh, attributes like age, name, salary, okay? okay. And now I have to increase the salary of each employee whose age is greater than 25 by 10%. So I have to increase the salary of each employee by 10%, but the condition is that that employee should be uh, greater than 25 age okay okay so just to Can understand you... uh your statement uh you have a list of employee for that i need to create mm -hmm. uh employee class right yes so, correct let's try to create employee class i have just created employee class mm, and you have three variables one is mm, one yes. is name yes right second is age and then we have salary correct so second is your uh int age and uh the third one is your uh, salary. salary salary perfect so these three variables name age and uh salary 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 okay and uh, i'll try to create getter setter because we might uh, need this getter setter uh, select all all right so first i'll create uh my employee class uh then i'll i'll try to create the main class from where we can create the list and list and all uh okay so i'll i'll mark uh, name this class as main driver this is my driver class and i'll add the main okay. method to it okay okay can you tell me the uh, requirement once again uh, so you have to create a list of employees so you can create five employees okay a list of uh, i'm trying to import list and i'm trying trying to create employees new array list Okay, so I have created the list. Now I'll try to create five employees. For creating five employees, I'll add a constructor. So that will make my life a bit more easier. Uh, employee, okay. and uh, I'll have three parameters to this constructor. Uh, integer age is the, is the second parameter. And okay, integer age and the third parameter is uh, double salary all right and uh, i'll just try to add this this dot name equal to name this dot salary equal to salary and uh, this dot age equal to age all right now uh, i need to create five employees right yeah you can create five employees yeah. which will have a different salary okay so you can create two employees which will be having a salary greater than twenty five thousand. Oh, sorry you can uh, have two employees whose uh, age is greater than 25. okay okay so i'll uh, keep the name as abc uh, let's keep this age as 21 and salary as ten thousand. Uh, okay and uh, i'll create e2 e3 e4 and e5 let me rename e2 e3 e4 and uh, e5 and i'll keep this as pqr um uh, mno jkl and xyz xyz and you want two employees to be uh, to have age greater than 25 so mm, yes. 26 and 28 yeah that is fine yeah is it okay mm, yes fine 
uh, 12,000, uh, 15,000. Uh, I'll keep just 22 and then 23 and the this will be 19,000 and uh, uh, this will be 17,000. OK, so I've created five employees, as you suggested. Now, yeah, you have to increase the salary by 10% only for PQR and MNO because those are having age greater than 25. OK, so PQR and MNO because they have their age yeah. greater than uh, 25. 25. That is the reason yeah. I have to okay. increase their salary by 10%. 10%. Okay. So let me add this to the list. Uh, I'll add all the employees to the list. Um, even E2. Then we have uh, E3, E4, and E5. Perfect. And uh, can I use uh, streams for, for doing this? Yes, yes, yes. You have to use Java features only. Java features. Okay. So I'll try to do this with the help of uh, streams. Mm, employees dot uh, stream stream is a sequence of objects okay okay and uh, i'll try to use as we have to modify uh, modify the employee salary so i'll try to use map okay and uh, what i'll do for each employee i'll try to i'll try to modify first i'll try to return uh, e okay and uh, I'll try to collect the result. OK, so like, before collecting the result, what I'll do, uh, I'll try to if e dot get age. And you want if the age is greater than 25, right? Then only I have to make yes. changes. OK, so if age is greater than 25, what I'll do, uh, e dot set salary. And you want to increase the salary by 10%, uh, right? Yeah, you can do 10%. OK, so I'll get salary uh, into 1.10 as we have to increase by 10%. I am multiplying it by 1.1. Okay. Okay, fine. And I'm returning E. Now, after yeah. this, I'll collect the result. Uh, collectors, there is something called as collectors. Dot. I'll collect the result in two list. Okay. Okay. So let me list off. Uh, uh, this will be employee and uh, this will be incremented incremented salary okay so i got okay. this let me print it uh, before and after so i'll i'll try to add two string method uh, to my employee class yeah you can directly print uh, the output of incremented salary there is no need to print the before salary okay you can add two string to string as far as out in employee class you can yeah so in employee class i'll add to string yes so uh, is there a way to add to string generate to string yes so i want only salary i'll add only salary is that okay okay fine yeah, so this is a two string method i'll Take it to the bottom. Okay. Now, what I'll do, uh, I'll print the uh, original salary and then the incremented salary quickly. Okay. So this one is uh, employees. Now, before this, I'll print original salary original salary and similarly i'll print the incremented salary yeah you can just run the program yeah incremented salary okay let me try to run this program okay so uh, the first is salary is ten thousand it's okay uh, the second salary is twelve thousand here we got increment of 1200 Okay, so it is 13,200. Then we have 15,000. We got increment of uh, 1,500 as a 10%. And the rest all salaries remain the same. 19,000 remains 19,000 because the age is less than 25. And the 17,000 remains 17,000 because the age is less than 25. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Uh, do you know strings in Java? Uh, yes, I know strings. 
Okay. Can you create one more class, or you can use uh, this class as well? No issues. Uh, I'll try. I'll try to create one more class. Is it okay? Okay, fine. Uh, is a string right? You you ask about yeah, string. string. Yeah. Okay. So you can create three variables of type string. Okay. Uh, let's Just create the yeah. class. String driver. I'll create. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, this is the main method, right? Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Now uh, uh, write string str one equal to string str one equal to abc abc create same string str two. Okay. So let me copy it. Uh, str str right str yes yeah. str two str one. Okay. Now create str three equal to new string. Uh, string str str three equal to new it's string right to new string of abc okay so this is new abc all right hmm. so do you know the difference between line number four and line number six yes uh, line number four is a literal literal is where uh, this this will be created in a string pool and line number uh, six is we are creating new object in our heap. So this will be created in our heap. OK. Now uh, write one statement like system dot out dot print ln. OK. And uh, str1 equal equal str2. Equal to equal to str2. str2. OK. So what will be the output? What do you think? Uh, okay, so str1 is abc, uh, which is a literal, str2 is also abc, which is a literal. So if we are come, okay, so okay. am I audible now? So am I audible now? Mm. Okay, yeah, it's better now. Okay, okay, so str1 equal to equal to str2, uh, as we are comparing by equal to equal to, and both are literal, so this will return uh, true. Okay, can you run? Yeah, so let me run the program. Yes, it, it written true. Okay. Now uh, copy the line number eight as it is. Line number eight as it is. Yeah. Okay. And paste it. Instead of str two, can you make it str three? Yeah, I'll make str yeah. three. Can you guess the output? What will the output? Uh, in str one we have literal, and in str three we have new string abc. So here the output will be uh, false. The output will be false. Because uh, str1 uh, is a literal, this object uh, is there in the literal uh, string constant, and this um, is in the heap str3. And we are comparing both the references which are different one in the string constant, one in the heap. That is the reason it is going to uh, give you false. Can you run it? Yeah. So should I co comment this or should I keep this as it is? You can keep it. No issues. Okay. So the first will be true, the second uh, will be false. Yeah, the first is true, okay, the perfect. second is false. Now uh, copy the line number nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. And replace equal equal with equals. So do you know the equals method? Yes, I know equals. What is the use of equals method? Uh, equals uh, check for your content. So it will uh, it will check the content of your string. So it will check for this so what ABC. What will be the output? Yeah, so what will be the output? Uh, the output of this will be true. Because... Okay, can you... Yeah, can you run? Uh, yes. So the first will be true, the second will be false, and the third will be true. So let me yeah. run this. Yeah. Okay. Now do one thing. Uh, go on line number six. Okay. Uh, instead of capital A, write it small A. Okay. Now what will be the output of line number ten? You can comment out line number eight and nine. Okay, so I'll comment comment out this and this. Okay, yeah. and now you want the output of line number ten, str one dot yeah, So what will be the output? The yes. output will be uh, the output will be false because the content is different. Here we have ABC and here we have small ABC. Okay, so you can run this program. Yeah. So output is false. Okay, is there any mechanism by which I will be able to say that this str one is equal to abc uh, that is on line number six that is str3 so i want to make sure that str1 and str3 to be compared without 
uh, what you can say uh, by ignoring equal case. Okay, so I think that is a method uh, equals ignore case. Yeah, and uh, I can use this method equals ignore case, which will not take case into consideration. And this time the output should be true. Mm, yes. So can you run this program? Run this program. Uh, yes, it's true. So it is ignoring the case. Okay, perfect, fine. So I'm done from my side. Do you have any question? Uh, no, no questions from me. Okay, thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye.